been lived in for six, seven months now. Why not? If there's nothing wrong with it, a house like this in the middle of Chelsea, people should be queuing up for it. Well, you see, it's like this. Well, is there anything that they didn't tell us about, like uh, dry rot or a leaky roof or anything? No, sir. Like I said, they rebuilt the top and the back after the war. Blown to bits by a bomb and this room hardly touched. Oh, terrible tragedy it was, wasn't it? They did the whole place up when they rebuilt it. It's a sound as bucket of palace now. This is the wrong way, of course. Well, you wouldn't want to face out at the back, would you, sir? He means the light, Mr. Barrett. There should be a north light to paint by. Oh, now, don't you worry about that, miss. We can have the old place cleaned up for the weekend. Oh, well, um, we have got a couple of other places to look at first, Mrs. Barrett. The estate agent gave us quite a list. Well, if you ask me, Mr. Holden could be very happy here. A lot of atmosphere for an artist. Yes, it's charming, but my fiancé was really looking for a flat, and place this size well, it, well, be a little it wouldn't be no bother miss i could come in and clean so you wouldn't even have to do the washing up it's very kind of you but i don't really think a house is a very good idea these belong to anybody well the last tenant didn't fancy them so i put them in store till he left and then well they belong to miss allison so i brought them back miss allison the owner miss what was killed by the bomb well Thank you very much for showing us, but I'm afraid it's not quite what we're looking for. John? That's her. Miss Allison. Painted just before the war, that was. Poor girl. She was quite young, wasn't she? Twenty-six when it happened. I'm so sorry we've given you all this. I'll take it. 
What? I, I said I'll take it. Darling, are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah I'm sure I like it. It's got a good feel I can work here. Darling, I can touch him. Now, could you have it set for me by the weekend? Oh, well, of course he can, can't you? Yeah, let's go play. <laughs> All right. Which one? The little cameo. Mm, I don't know. I don't think it'll fit me. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? Oh, you get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> Where to now? Mm. Let's have a picnic. On the street? Please. All right, you're the leader. Go ahead. You like it. Very colorful, Mr. Alden. I imagine that's uh, that's more your style of painting up there, isn't it? That is Benedict, sir. That's a good likeness, huh? Oh, yes, yes. Very ah. good indeed. Beautiful. She was. Oh, is there anything else I could do while I'm here? No, thanks, Barry. Oh, uh, yes, there is. I've got I'm gonna have some place to uh, store my canvases, my stretchers. Oh, yeah. Uh well, we could stick them in the window seat there. Oh, good. I didn't know it opened. Did you know her, this Allison? Oh, yes, sir. Mrs. Barrett used to clean for her. That was before the war, of course. And I did all the heavy work. You get that open? I think so. Hello, Jiffy. <coughs> Watch out for them now, sir. Yeah, right. It's funny. Jasmine. After 25 years, you can still smell her perfume. I'm not kidding, Troy. No, oh, sir. I was just thinking, how did you know that was Miss Allison's perfume, sir? I'm sure I never mentioned it. I don't know. You, you said the windows had been nailed down since the war. I just assumed it was hers. I never said that, sir. Well, must have been an inspired guess. Like the carnation, sir. What about the carnations? Well, nothing, only... Well, red carnations was her favorite flower, sir. Well, they're my favorite flower, too. Well, anything else, sir? No, thanks, Bert. It's ages since I heard that tune, Mr. Holden. Favourite with me, it used to be. What tune is that? That tune you were whistling. Was I whistling? What tune? Well, I thought you must have known, sir. It's an old tune Miss Allison used to like. It is? Oh, but it's just like her. Is it a good likeness? Well, it's incredible. How you caught her like that, not ever having seen her, I'll never know. 
Now, how did you know to do that, sir? Do what? That dimple. How did you know she had a dimple there when she smiled? Well, it's extraordinary. That little smile. I'll never forget it. Never. She kept it for special friends, if you know, Mum. Really. Mm, boyfriends? Well, you could say that, yes, sir. Mr. Crichton used to say, give up an entire fortune for that smile. Not that he got much of a fortune. Good morning. Oh, hi. Morning, miss. Where were you last night? I thought we were going to the movies. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I thought you were going to come around here. I waited for you. Oh, I've got my oven to clean. I did wait, honest. Perhaps you didn't hear the bell. I could have sworn I saw a light on. I rang and rang. Uh, Perhaps what? you were entertaining a lady friend? <laughs> what, what time was it? I, uh, I did go out for a drink about 10 o'clock. You have a brilliant sense of timing. That is precisely when I came round. Did you do this? Yeah. Did you like it? I'm not really sure. Mrs. Barrett says it looks just like her. What made you start life drawing again? I don't know. Maybe I just want to see if I could. How many canvases do you have already for the show? Six. Marvelous. You tell the gallery? Not yet. Oof. What's the matter? Honey, what happened? How did you do that? It's that nail. You should get Barrett to take them out. He did take them out. He... Someone took every nail out of there three days ago. Let's get that washed up. <laughs> What's the matter? The tune. Get Are they for me? Oh, darling, thank you. <laughs> I hope you don't mind, but I thought you hadn't been eating very well, so I brought you some lunch. Chicken and salad and cheese, and I put a bottle of wine in the fridge. Darling, you all right? I haven't seen you for two whole days. I know, I know, kid. I'm, I'm sorry, I missed you. I phoned a couple of times and you never answered. Oh, come on, Kate. I've been working, you know that. Sometimes I don't even hear the phone. It's been going well, then. The best stuff I've ever done. Well, that's marvellous. Could I see? Yeah, it's right there. It's a different approach, Kate, but it's good. I know it. That's certainly a different approach. Okay, okay. What's that supposed to mean? You don't like it. Do you think it's quite what the gallery is expecting? I don't know what the gallery is expecting. That's what I'm doing. But, darling, why have you changed your style? Because I'm a, because I'm a painter, kid. Is it a good idea, just before your first London show? Well, look, I don't paint for shows. I don't have a choice. Yet. I can't just stay with the style because it's successful. I, I can't just stand still. But you seem to be moving All right, I'm sorry if you don't like it. Maybe in six months I won't like it. But right now it's what I'm doing. All right? My bread! Yeah. <laughs> you got 
got a smudge on your nose a little bit, you know. <laughs> <laughs> would you would you care to go out to lunch with me? Yes, please. Mm. Mm. Shall I go and make myself presentable? Yes, I would do, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. break my neck falling down those stairs. I think this house has got a grudge against me. Oh. <laughs> Murray, can you take those round? Thanks, Just make sure they're mm. Now. You have to know the principles. I'd love to learn. Thermodynamics is a science of heat. Teach me about thermodynamics. Where do you want it? Take it all together, look. In the lounge. Make sure it's got something. Yes? Thanks. Oh, no, Here, I'll do that. Oh, no, Derek, you enjoy yourself. I mean to. It'd be a useful prop for introducing myself. Hello, Derek. Come and talk to me. Later, darling. I'm on my way to share a drink with a beautiful stone drop. <laughs> Trust you. Hey, have you seen John? Right here. Hello. Wish me luck. Luck. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Let's go away somewhere. Hmm. Go away where? I don't know. Anywhere. Darling, I can't go away. I've got to work. Well, bring it with you. Where do you want to go? Uh, Norway? Norway? <laughs> Why Norway? Why not? All right, when? Tomorrow. All right, tomorrow we'll go to Norway. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Just gonna go. Where? When? I don't know. Norway, probably. Just the two of us, see what it's like. When? Why? Tomorrow, the day after. Doesn't really matter. Why can't we go away somewhere together? Tomorrow? Anytime. There's a new research laboratory in Scotland we could go to. For research? I wish I knew. Want a drink? No, thanks. 
I want what you seem to have got. What's that? Charm, genius, good looks, American passport. No, not the passport. <laughs> All the rest, whatever that is. Well, jealousy will get you nowhere. Kit is mine. I know, I know. It's so unfair. Well, it's your fault, old buddy. You introduced it. Well, no, no. I got over that a long time ago. I mean, it's the blonde that's unfair. What blonde? Well, I met this fantastic girl. I mean, she really... I don't know. I don't know what went wrong. I, I thought I was onto something. I took a bottle of champagne up to your bedroom. Yeah. Well, she took a glass. And that was all. <laughs> Derek, you're a born loser. What was her name? You see, I made a pass. Do you know, do you know what she said? Do you know what she said? What? She said she was yours. Well, I thought she was teasing me, of course. I said, oh, come on now. Kid's his girlfriend. But how about me for a substitute? I was only kidding, of course. But she said, run along and find someone else to play with. I belong to John. And kit or no kit, I'm happy to wait for him. What do you do to them, Johnny boy? Derek. Derek. Who was this girl? The blonde, you know. Her. Painful memories. No, not painful anymore. After it happened, I couldn't bear to talk about her. I was still in a state of shock, I suppose. You heard how she died. Yes, Mrs. Berrettum. Why, did she sit around? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mr. Crichton, I want to thank you for coming here to talk to me. You see, when I took this house, I found that portrait of her. I've been trying to do a painting of myself, I thought. I thought if I knew more about her, it might help me. I don't think anybody ever understood her. Not really. Least of all me. The man she was with that night, he was an American. Air Force? Never asked him. Now, it broke me up, I can tell you. Losing her twice, that's what it felt like. Finding her there with him, and then ten seconds later, she was dead. The next day, I went up on a mission. I didn't remember much else, except that I woke up in a jerry prisoner of war camp with this thing. What was she really like? I don't think I've ever met anybody quite like her. Sometimes I still find it hard to believe that she is dead. She used to come out to the field, you know, and watch us go up. It wasn't allowed, but she could get around anybody. Even a group captain. Was she going to marry you? No, I don't think she would have. Alison captivated men. Possessed them. But she always stayed free. You mustn't misunderstand me, Mr. Holden. I'm a happily married man. You see, she was my first love affair. I was completely infatuated by her. It took me a long time to get her out of my system. And I still remember little things about her. The dimple in her cheek when she laughed. The perfume she always used. Jasmine. Yes, this was hers. Did she have many boyfriends? Yes. I always knew I wasn't the only one. Now, she was a devil. She was immoral, impulsive, and stubborn. And she had a wicked sense of humor. You couldn't trust her as far as the next bedroom, and everybody adored her. I've done a number of sketches of her. I always seem to miss something. You think this is a good likeness? Yes. 
Yes, she was beautiful. But not vain. I don't think really beautiful people need to be. If she had any vanity, it was about her hair. Yeah. Yeah, always brushing it to make it shine. She has a... She has a tortoise shell brush with her initials in gold. Yes, she had. But how the devil did you know that? <laughs> George! George! George, please let me in. <laughs> I know you're there. Mrs. Barrett told me. George! <laughs> Disturbing you? No. John, are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. <coughs> Why? Well, you look so pale. I haven't been. I've been working. I'm a little tired, that's all. In the dark? Tell me what's the matter, darling. Nothing is the matter. Then why have you been avoiding me? I haven't. I haven't seen you for nearly two weeks. And I don't think you really wanted to let me in just now, did you? I am. I was half asleep. I didn't hear you knock. I phoned you so many times. I told you I don't answer the phone when I'm working. So it's not exactly good company when I'm like this. I don't love you because you're good company, darling. I wish you'd come away with me last month after the party. Huh? We were going to Norway for a couple of weeks. Oh, come on, kid. I mean, that was just talk. We weren't going anywhere. John, I wish you'd let me find you another house. There's nothing wrong with this house. I don't understand your obsession with this house, kid. My obsession? John, you're the one who's obsessed. Do you realize how long it is since you've left this house? You just sit in this room all day making sketch after sketch of this dead woman. What's happened? What's changed you? Nothing has changed, man. I just need to be left alone so I can work, kid. Work? How can you call this rubbish work? When did you get to be an art critic, baby? John. John. Your show is only two months away, and all you have for the gallery are the six oils you brought over from the States. You can't possibly show well, them the rest. Cancel the show. But I don't understand it. John, I don't know you anymore. Oh, I just fell down by itself, right? Oh, I hate this place. I no, wish you If you don't like this place, you don't have to be here, do you? You really mean that, don't you? John, if there's someone else, please tell me. I to tell. No other woman comes here. But there must be someone else. You couldn't have changed like this if it was... I've got to get to work. Would you just please leave? I said get out! <laughs> Tell me about her. Who? That girl you met at our party. Oh, her. 
Oh, no, she was quite something. Is there anything else you want, Mr. Henderson, or can I go? No, that's all right, Katie. Oh, uh, remind me to call Martin about those colour prints in the morning, will you? All right, I will. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Did you know her name? Oh, come on now, love. It was a party, remember? I was pretty drunk at the time. Well, you told John about her. Derek, please tell me. What we both need is a drink. I remember you were leaving the kitchen with that bottle. You said you were going to share a drink with a beautiful stranger. I only met her a couple of minutes before that. I was standing in the hall and she came up to me and started to talk to me as if she knew me. The face rang a bell, but I couldn't quite place her. But she was such a dish. Well, you know me, how could I resist? I wasn't going to pass that up. She said she wanted some champagne and told me to bring it up to her in the bedroom. Well, naturally, I thought that was a marvellous idea. Now I come to think of it, I didn't seem to have much choice. Cheers. Well, I went upstairs and she was lying on the bed. After the champagne, she drank it. She was laughing up at me. Well, I went to kiss her. She turned away. I said, oh, come on, what did you get me up here for? Or, or something like that. Suddenly she, she sat up and she, she'd stopped laughing. She was serious. She told me I wasn't to touch her because she belonged to John. I said, well, how come? I mean, that you were his girl. You had been for over two years. She said she didn't mind, that she could wait. Time was on her side. But did you ask her what she meant? Oh, no. I was a bit fed up. She had led me on, after all. I was pretty steamed up by then, anyway. So what happened then? Nothing. Oh, I tried to make a change of mind, of course, but she wouldn't. She kept insisting she was waiting for John. Who was she, Derek? Well, that was so odd. I came downstairs and I, I saw this portrait over the fireplace. Uh, it was her. I mean, the same face, the same eyes, the, the same hair. I thought, well, there you are. You see, there's your mystery girl. Then I asked someone at the party who the girl in the picture was. <sighs> they told me she'd been dead for 25 years. <laughs> It's, it's not, it's not very good. I'm sorry, darling. Listen, one of these days, I will paint a portrait of you that is 20 times better than that. But not now, I can't. I can't. Because I can't concentrate on painting when you're here. Okay. I got your cigarette, white love. Cheers. <laughs> because she won't leave us alone unless I do. All right. Won't take long. Come in, come in, I was expecting. Happy birthday, darling. A week late, I'm afraid. Thank you. Celebrating, I see. No. Did you get my birthday telegram? Yes, thank you. Darling, Rachel's invited us to dinner next Thursday. Will you come? No, I can't. But she's arranged it specially for you, so as you can meet some new people. John, aren't you ever going to... You know, I've got a blue here that's... Could be right. It's got a quality. John, look at me. It's quite new to me, but it's, it's what I've been looking for, actually. 
John, can't you talk it's to me? Can't you tell me what's happening? The expression of I have. Why is it so important? The woman in that portrait's been dead for 25 years. Alison is dead. Is she? John, won't you come away from this house and forget her? No. I don't like to leave you here by yourself. I don't need your help. I just need to be left alone. Can't please go away. Don't come back. Don't call. Don't try to get in touch with me again. We don't want you here. We? Allison doesn't like you, kid. She doesn't want you to come back. Ever. Tidy the room, it's my regular time. Go away, I don't want you. There's no cause to be rude. What time shall I come tomorrow? Do you hear me, sir? What time do you want me tomorrow? I don't. Go away, I don't want you in the house. Well, oh, really, I must say, you never do know with some people. <laughs> okay, okay, darling, relax. Come on over here and get your reward. <laughs> A dozen bottles of champagne. No, the same as always. The jambon et fils, huh? Yes. And how soon can you deliver them? Very good. Do you think you could have them here before 11 o'clock? Thank you. My darling, we are going to have a little party, just you and me. And we're going to get hopelessly drunk mm -hmm. and spend all day tomorrow recovering. All right? <laughs> no answer. And help him. Mrs. Barrett could be right, you know. He may have a girl staying there. No. 
It's something to do with that house and that portrait. You mean the girl I imagined I met at the party? Yes, but with John, it's not imagination. He thinks she's real. You realize what you're saying? Yes. John's having a mental breakdown. I've been afraid of it for some time. And now, when he needs me, he won't see me. Please come with me. He might listen to you. <laughs> oh, no, you wouldn't. <laughs> faithful to me. <laughs> if you weren't, I'd beat you. <laughs> mm. I don't believe you were ever in love with Crichton. He's just not your type. You wouldn't have married him. <laughs> John? John, are you there? John, it's Derek! John? Is that you, Derek? Open the door! Is Kit with you? She is, isn't she? No, John. No, she isn't. I'm on my own. Uh, Derek, if uh, Kit's not with you, would you deliver a message to her for me? Would you tell her that we are very happy and we don't want her to worry about us? And we never want to see her again and we don't want to hear from her again. You got that? She was with him. I know she was. But this time she won't be back. <laughs> well, Mr. Barrett says the only thing that's been delivered there this last week is a case of drink. Champagne. And Mr. Holden hasn't been out at all? Not one. Of course, he used to have his groceries delivered, but I asked at the shop where he deals. They say he hasn't given them an order for two or three weeks now. Can't be eating properly. Whoa, living on all that tin stuff, most probably. You used to have a key when you cleaned there, didn't you, Mrs. Barrett? That's right. Have you still got it? Well, of course I have. Do you think you could lend it to me? I'm so worried about him. Well, you don't have to explain to me. Here you are. Thank you. John? John? Oh, darling. been eating, have you? I'll go and get you some soup. It's all right now, darling. I'm here to look after you.
长，长达零。I shouldn't worry too much if I was you, sir. It's been four days now. She hasn't been to work. She hasn't even been home. If that means that she didn't go home to pack, so she can't have gone away. Oh, I don't know. People are a lot more casual about making trips these days. There you are. If you ask me, they've done a moonlight flit. Look back. John. Where's Kit? What about Kit? This is her handbag. She must be here. I'm going upstairs to have a look. Well, I'll follow you up. No sign of her outside, Sergeant. No. Uh, you better get an ambulance. Kit! Miss Beaumont, is it, sir? It's all right. It's all right, darling. Kit's gone. Everybody's gone. Nobody to bother us. Just you and me. Just you and me. <laughs> Thank you.